Welcome, intrepid explorers of history. Today we embark on a voyage through time to rediscover the legacies of civilizations that once resonated with life, but now whisper to us from the shadows of oblivion. Join us as we unveil the chronicles of the world's most intriguing lost cities, chapter by chapter. Chapter 1. Tikal, the Maya Metropolis. Enshrouded in the emerald cloak of the Guatemalan rainforest lies Tikal, a testament to the grandeur of the Maya civilization. Once a thriving metropolis, it now stands as an enigmatic fortress of history. Rising above the treetops, the imposing Temple Forv dominates the skyline, a monolith to Maya ingenuity and their reverence for the cosmos. The city was a beehive of activity, its plazas filled with merchants, priests, and nobles, its skies echoing with the calls of the sacred Quetzal birds. Tikal's architects orchestrated a symphony of stone, constructing an urban landscape that harmonized with the heavens. Here, the Maya calendar came to life, aligning human endeavor with celestial movements. Yet, as centuries passed, the voices of Tikal fell silent, the glyphs ceased to be inscribed. The city's abandonment remains one of history's lingering enigmas. What whispers might we hear if these mighty structures could speak? Stories of drought, warfare, resource depletion, or perhaps tales of a society seeking a new beginning elsewhere. Today, Tikal stands as a powerful symbol of adaptation and endurance, reflecting the Maya's understanding of the delicate balance between humankind and nature, a balance that, once lost, can lead to the downfall of even the mightiest of cities. The legacy of Tikal is etched not only in stone but in the spirit of discovery it continues to kindle. As we peer into the past, let us not forget the lessons Tikal imparts on the present. A civilization's greatness lies not just in its rise, but also in its ability to echo through time. Tikal, the Maya metropolis, now silent, still commands the awe and wonder of all who walk its ancient causeways. In the heart of the rainforest, it stands as a sentinel of history, challenging us to unlock the secrets of the Maya, secrets that remain hidden beneath layers of earth and time. Make sure to subscribe and press the like button to join our community of history enthusiasts, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. This way, you'll be notified each week as we uncover more secrets of the past. Your support keeps history alive on our channel. Chapter 2, Jerma, the Desert's Hidden Crown. Venture now into the heart of the Sahara, where the unforgiving sun casts its gaze upon the remnants of Jerma, the desert's hidden crown. This oasis city was the flourishing epicenter of the Garamantes, a people who thrived in these harsh climes. Amidst the relentless dunes, the Garamantes engineered an oasis of life. Their ingenious network of underground aqueducts, known as Fogaras, transformed arid death into fertile abundance, mystifying those who would deem such a feat impossible. Jerma's prowess as a hub of trade and agriculture made it a jewel in the Sahara, a vital link in trans-Saharan routes connecting distant realms of gold and salt, of ivory and silk. For centuries, the Garamantes reigned, their warriors mounted on chariots, their artisans crafting goods that would see distant lands. But as trade routes shifted and the climate turned ever more unforgiving, Germa's star dimmed. What remains now are ruins, silent in the desert heat, yet speaking volumes to those who listen. Excavations have unearthed tombs, temples, and the Fogaras themselves, desiccated veins of a body that once pulsed with life. The legacy of the Garamantes, once dismissed as mere desert marauders, is being rewritten. They were innovators, survivors, the undaunted masters of their realm. Germa's tale is a chronicle of human ingenuity, a narrative of how tenacity and the will to harness nature's force can birth an empire in the least likely of places. Now, as the sands continue to both reveal and consume, Germa, the desert's hidden crown, endures as a monument to the remarkable adaptability and ingenuity of humankind. Chapter 3, Mustang, the Forbidden Kingdom. Ascend with us to the heights of the Himalayas, to the secluded bastion of Mustang, a kingdom shrouded in mystery and forbidden to outsiders for centuries. Here, in the arid valleys bordering Nepal and Tibet, 
a vibrant culture flourished, virtually untouched by time. The walled city of Lomanthang, the heart of Mustang, stands as a sentinel at the edge of the Tibetan Plateau. Built in the 15th century, it was the center of trade, religion, and politics, a vital checkpoint on the salt trade routes. Mustang's isolation preserved unique Buddhist traditions, art, and language, akin to a living museum. The city's monasteries, festooned with vibrant thangkas, are repositories of ancient lore, holding secrets passed down through whispered chants and meditative rituals. The Kingdom of Mustang was a society that thrived in seclusion, with its own royal lineage and culture. Its people, the Loba, crafted a life in harmony with the fierce landscape, their homes hewn from the very rocks upon which they stood. But even this mountain stronghold could not remain isolated forever. Political upheavals and the inevitable march of progress have pulled Mustang from the shadows, unveiling its treasures to the world. Today, as visitors traverse its cobbled streets, they tread upon layers of history, each stone a testament to the endurance of the human spirit. The forbidden kingdom of Mustang, once insulated by formidable geography and the guardianship of its people, now invites the world to witness its legacy. Mustang's narrative is not solely one of survival against the elements, but a reflection of the sanctity with which its people embrace their heritage. A poignant reminder of the power of culture to transcend the boundaries of time and space. Chapter 4. Nan Madol, the Venice of the Pacific. Cast away on the remote island of Pompeii, within the embrace of the vast Pacific, lies the enigma of Nan Madol, often referred to as the Venice of the Pacific. This lost city is an audacious testament to the ingenuity of its creators, the Sotelur dynasty. Imagine a network of nearly a hundred artificial islets, linked by a web of canals, a city built upon the coral reef itself. These massive stone palaces and temples were engineered with a precision that baffles the minds of modern scientists and historians alike. Each log, some weighing upwards of 50 tons, was ferried from faraway quarries across the open ocean, their placement a feat of human will against the relentless sea. Nan Madol was a ceremonial center, a place of power where the chieftains not only resided but communed with the divine. The megalithic structures stand as stoic witnesses to the elaborate rituals and offerings that once flowed through these stone corridors. But this grandeur came at a cost. The city consuming resources and human toil, may have sown the seeds of its own undoing. As resources dwindled, the city's mystique could not save it from abandonment. Today, Nan Madol stands isolated, a ghostly city floating on the tides of time. Its temples, once resonant with the chants of priests, now whisper only with the ocean breeze. The Venice of the Pacific invites the brave and the curious to unravel its mysteries. Yet, the city guards its secrets jealously, relinquishing them only to those who respect its solemn grandeur and the ocean's capricious moods. Nan Madol remains an architectural marvel, an echo of a once potent civilization that defied the elements, harnessing the sea's might to etch its story in stone and water. Chapter 5, Persepolis, the Jewel of the Persian Empire. Arise on the wings of morning to behold the splendor of Persepolis, the ceremonial capital of the Achaemenid Empire, and the pinnacle of Persian prowess. Envisioned by Darius the Great and realized by his successors, this city was the jewel of an empire that stretched across the known world. These silent columns and shattered palaces tell a story of unparalleled grandeur, where kings and emperors walked amidst gardens and fountains, their halls echoing with the discourse of diplomats and the music of banquets. Conceived as a bastion for the King of Kings, Persepolis was more than mere stone and mortar. It was a statement of unity and power, a complex of palaces and treasuries that proclaimed the Empire's might and wealth. These reliefs are a silent testament to the Achaemenids' respect for the diverse cultures over which they reigned. The figures etched in stone are not bound in servitude, but stride forward with dignity, each delegation distinct in dress and bearing. Persepolis was the heart of a network of roads that facilitated trade and communication across half the world, 
an ancient fulcrum that balanced the cultural and economic forces of its time. Yet, in a tragic twist of fate, the city met its end in flames. What once stood as a testament to human achievement was reduced to ash and echoes, a poignant reminder of glory's impermanence. Today, Persepolis rises from the ashes through painstaking restoration, allowing us to glimpse the might of the Persian Empire. Its ruins are no longer merely remnants, but vibrant threads in the tapestry of human history. Persepolis endures, its very stones a declaration that even the greatest of empires may fall, but their beauty and wisdom can survive the ages, captured in the very dust we tread upon. As the stars wheel overhead, Persepolis whispers to us across millennia, a jewel that still shines from the depths of history, a beacon of civilization's enduring legacy. As we conclude our journey across continents and through centuries, we're reminded that the world is scattered with such hidden gems, each holding the potential to change the way we understand our shared heritage. These lost cities are but chapters in the human story, and as we turn each page, we uncover more than just stones and relics. We discover the indomitable spirit of our ancestors. To continue unveiling the mysteries of our past, stay with us, subscribe, like, and share in the pursuit of history's hidden chapters.